The Crazy Art Collection of Jay-Z Have you ever thought about the crazy art collection that Jay-Z has and how expensive they are? Well, welcome back to Art & Beyond. In this video, we will see Jay-Z's insane art collection. Jay-Z is a gifted rapper, producer, and executive of a record label. His estimated net worth is $1.3 billion. Even without going on tour or releasing an album, Jay-Z makes millions from his Armand de Brignard, Champagne, and Deuce Cognac. Recently, he has begun discussing his interest in contemporary art, specifically in the works of Andy Warhol and the sculptures Tim Noble and Sue Webster. I started making art about five years ago. I purchased a few Warhols. I have a Rorschach over my living room fireplace, Jay-Z admitted to Howard Stern. Art is the key. I make an effort to purchase the items that speak to me. I have everything from Sue Simmons, who is brand new, to Andy Warhol and Tim Noble. Whether David Hammonds earns a ton of money for me or not, he is my equivalent of Ed Ruscha. Since Jay-Z initially alluded to Pablo Picasso in Friend or Foe in 1996, it has been evident how much he appreciates the visual arts. On the track, it was more about gunplay than ownership, but at the very least, it demonstrates Jay-Z's attention to the art world. Since then, he has steadily increased his engagement with the fine arts by endorsing artists and purchasing expensive works of art. Jay has noticeably broadened his understanding of the arts and his range of tastes. With the assistance of his art advisor, Jean greenberg rohatin Jay has acquired a taste for better things. The fact that he simply said, House is like a museum in 2011's Illest Motherfucker Alive, and then distinguished between Laveur and the Tate Modern on this year's Picasso Baby, where he performed alongside the performance art legend Marina Abramovic, shows that he has visited a few institutions. So without further ado, let's look into the crazy art collection of Jay-Z. Number 1. Hebrew Brantley Jay-Z and Beyonce purchased a brand new artwork from Hebrew Brantley, a street artist turned gallery maestro, during the Art Basel Miami Beach 2012 art market. This was a terrific investment for the couple and a boost for the painter, but in the broader scheme of things for the couple, it was merely a drop in the bucket. Everybody Scared, a piece chosen just for Jay by Maverick Carter, LeBron James's manager, cost them $20,000 in total. According to a picture on Brantley's Instagram, the painter personally brought Jay's work. Number 2. Shepherd Fairy Shepherd Fairy, they finally gave me some hope. Jay raps in reference to the street artist who created Barack Obama's official 2008 campaign poster in the 2013 song Oceans. Original pieces by Fairy fetch close to $100,000, while his lithographs sell for about $6,000 each. But why would Jay want a lithograph anyway? He would undoubtedly choose an original piece given that Hov's mysterious piece was valued at $30,000 to $40,000 bracket. Number 3. Tim Noble and Sue Webster the same Howard Stern interview in which Jay mentioned that he owns a piece by Tim Noble and Sue Webster. It's safe to assume that it isn't one of their amazing show sculptures, which are made primarily from trash, as they tend to be cumbersome and conceptual rather than purely aesthetic. However, the market for these two post-young British artists is gorgeous neon and other types of light-based works. Perhaps the YE sculpture that was featured in the 2007 music video for Blue Magic. These types of items typically cost $250 to $500,000. Nevertheless, this item specifically fetched $541,000 at auction. Those who make art and those who buy art are the people who genuinely appreciate the time and effort spent on making something significant. We would very much appreciate if you could like and share this video and subscribe to our channel. Number 4. Laurie Simmons in 2010, Jay-Z and Beyonce got into a small spat over which Laurie Simmons image should hang in their residence. Jay first decided on the picture of a rifle with female legs. Beyonce, however, didn't like the implied violence and sent the item back. She brought a perfume bottle with legs home as a more feminine image. The artist, who is the mother of Lena Dunham, sells the piece at auction for between $1,700 and $96,000. The Lying Perfume Bottle, the piece the Carter family ultimately acquired, fetched for $22,800 when it was auctioned off in 2016. With Simmons' recent success, we'll award Jay a respectable $25,000 for this one. Number 5. Andy Warhol Since Jay previewed his taste in interior design in 2006 Lupe Fiasco song, Pressure, where he said, If conflict calls for Warhol's slash hope, you get enough space on your whore's walls. 
Warhol has been mentioned at least six more times than any other artist in Jay's discography. He described buying a couple Warhols in the Stern interview, notably the Rorschach paintings that were used as the art cover for the decoded memoir Jay was promoting at the time. These prices sell around the $4.5 million each auction. You may expect to spend close to $10 million on Warhols alone if you multiply that by a couple. Number 6. David Hammonds Jay claims in the 2010 Stern interview that he owned a David Hammonds picture with a pile of bricks at the bottom that makes him think of this project. It sounds like Jay is discussing Hammonds' Untitled, though we can't be certain that this is the painting he is specifically referring to. Some of Hammonds' artworks, specifically those from the 2006 series, feature genuine asphalt at the bottom. Pieces of this magnitude by Hammond sold for about $750,000 each in 2011. So among this art collection, which artist was your favourite? Do you want to know more about the art? Well, if so, let us know down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and hit the bell icon for more interesting content. Goodbye, and we'll see you next time!